Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So by the time this video goes out, we'll be in the best month out of the year. Why is February the best month out of the year? It's because it's my birthday month. Um, I'll be turning 22 this year, and I was going to wait until next week to put this look out, but my birthday happens to be on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I'm a Valentine's Day baby, and I wanted to do a Valentine's Day look, so I figured I would put this look out now, and then next week I will upload a Valentine's Day look before Valentine's Day. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing for my birthday this year. My friends just said, oh, we're going to turn up. Um, knowing them, we're most likely not going to turn up. But in the odds that we are, um, I want to do something a little bit more dramatic because last year I did the whole sweet and Valentine's Day look, whatever, for my 21st birthday. And I really wanted to play in my makeup. So this is what I came up with. Um, if you want to know how I got this, I don't even know how to describe it other than dramatic look, then stay tuned. Okay, I know I look crazy. But just work with me here. I feel like this is how your mom walks into school when the principal calls and says you've been bad. You did what? So for my birthday look, I wanted curly hair, but I've already used heat twice this month, so I wanted to refrain from using it again. So I decided to straw curl my hair. Let me know down below if you'd want to see like the full process on how I do this. But now I'm going to take them out, and hopefully it worked. So this is what it looks like after I've taken out all the straws and the bobby pins, but obviously I am not going to leave it like this. Now I'm just going to run my fingers through them and separate the curls. So this is my hair after teasing it. I'm probably going to tease it again after my makeup, but I kind of just want to get into the makeup because technically I should have started with that first. But you guys saw with those straws, that was not going to happen. And also I took off the sweater that I had in the other frame because it's just too hot. It's just too hot. Black people don't do hot. So to start out my face, I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in Peach Luster to color correct my eyelids. So after that, I'll be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion because even my eyelids get oily. And just to be extra, extra, extra sure that my eyeshadow does not move during the day, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set my eyelids. Yeah, it's that deep. So today's eyeshadow is going to be a little easier because I'm only using one palette, and that is the Too Faced Stardust Palette by Vegas Nine. So using my Sigma E25 brush, I'm going to be taking Showgirl and applying that into my crease. Next, I'm going to be going in with the color Sin City. And then using the brush that came with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette, I'm going to blend those two colors. And lastly, I'll be taking Follow Me into my inner corner and midway onto my lid. And then we're going to blend that out too. So once again, I applied my liner and my lashes off camera. 
your girl just isn't there yet where she can be pop lining and sharpen things on camera without any mistakes and without both hands but the products I used are the Benefits Their Real Tinted Primer, the Tarte Tardiest Clay Paint Liner, and the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And once again, the lashes I have on are the Demi 120s. So now I'm going to prime my T-zone using the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer Perfector. If you have an oily T-zone, use this. It'll suck up all the oil. And to prime the rest of my face, I'm going to be trying something new. I got a sample of the YSL Blur Primer, so we're going to see how that works. It smells good. So first impressions on that, um, it felt a little greasy. I had to wipe some of it off after a while because it literally felt like I was like rubbing Crisco grease into my face. But you know what? Let's see how the foundation looks on top of it and then judge. So next I'm going to be going back in with that MAC highlighter to color correct. Just gonna get underneath the eyes, around my mouth. And I'm sure you guys have seen this like since the video started, but this decided that it was going to make a home on my face. So we're gonna color correct that too because that's just disrespectful. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 355 Coconut. Now, if you watched my first impressions on this foundation, then you would have seen I wasn't that impressed with it, but that was because I only wore it by itself to see how it held up throughout the day. Now I can say that using it with other products, I am really starting to like this foundation. sure if you all noticed in my other video but I do use two different concealer shades to highlight my face they are NARS Radiance Creamy Concealer my favorite concealer and this is Cafe and this is Amande Cafe is also what I used um, to highlight underneath my eyebrows
using this sponge and the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, I'm going to bake my face. So because I'm going for something more dramatic today, I am going to contour my face using the Black Opal Foundation Stick in Walnut. I'm going to highlight using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Illuminator. I'm going to keep it super simple and starting out I'm going to line my lips with this MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. And then I'm going to be applying the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Sepia. And now with a little bit of extraness, I'm going to set my makeup with the Scandinavia Finishing Spray. So that's it for this look. I hope you all liked it. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!